from e-learning internet museum how was the last lesson was it really confusing maybe it takes some time right the piece was so long today we're going to learn the entertainer written by american composer scott chaplin also this music is really popular and famous because of sting have you ever seen that movie before that's one of my favorite classical music if you didn't see it, yeah, try it. It's really fun. So this music was become popular after it used in movie OST. So today with this song, we're going to review chromatic scale that we learned last week. And also we're going to learn the ragtime music. Let's see how it goes. Now, if you're looking at the score, first introduction started with chromatic scale which we have learned already. What is the beginning note? G, left hand, the lowest line. And G sharp, A, A sharp, and B, C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F, and F sharp, and G. Yes, we learned it chromatic scale, right? And I even wrote all the fingering, so you can maybe, if you don't remember, you can follow the fingering. But the basic fingering for the chromatic scale is 1, 3, 1, 3, 1, 2, 3, 3, 1, 3, 2, 1. And here, it's supposed to be 3, 1. But since we don't go up higher than this, so you can just play with the 2, 1. I wrote it here, 2, 1. It's easier. So end up with the 2, 1. And preparing for the next chord, left hand. And right hand starts on the third beat. One, two, three, four. And what is the next note? E. And here fingering will be one, two, one, and go to C. One, two, and down E, C, two. And one more time, E, C. One, two, three, four. So the rhythm is kind of confusing. Note is simple, but the ragtime music goes really fast. So almost to feel like quarter note was really passing by fast. So that's how fast it goes. So first time when you practice, you have to count slow and count well. Otherwise, the rhythm will be mixed up. Now, if we move it on to the next line, yeah, it start with the right hand, rest, and C. D, D sharp, but here finger number, how it goes, 3 and E, 4, so it's, it's not really chromatic scales, but C, D, D sharp, E, so you go 1, 2, 3, 4, and then after that, come to C, so instead of using 1, use 2, And then again the same note but do you see the slur i mean do you see the line that's a tie so you hold it instead of playing it again so the count goes one and come to b and skip up to d two one two three four note is pretty easy but the rhythm is kind of confusing because it's upbeat and there's so many tight note do you know what is upbeat? Yes, not one, two, three, four, but one, one, two, three, 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 four, four. You are playing on off a beat. So if we try it the same place, second line, C chord, rest, C, D, D sharp, E, C, D, E, tie, B, D, two, one, two, three, Four. That's how it goes. And there is another two count rest. One, 
two and come back to D sharp again. And it will repeat the same melody line from the very, very beginning. Exactly the same melody line it repeats back. So D, D sharp, D, two, one, two, one, one, two, three, four. So you have to count one, one, two, three, four, or one, two, three, four, five. It really doesn't matter, but you have to count full. And if we move it on to the next measure, which is a C chord, there is two count rest. So one, two, after that, right hand starts with the A. But with finger number three and step down to G, but fingering will be one. Why? Because we have to go to the black key. If we play a two, and then it's really hard to play a black key with finger number one because it's a short. So three, one, two, you have to watch out fingering here. Three, one, two, and finger number one, play an A. Aha. Uh -huh. That's one of the hardest part because of the fingering. So you have to mark it and practice a couple of times. Three, one, two, cross it over to F sharp and come back to finger number one, A. And skip, skip. And then after that, there is a tie. One, two, three, four, and go to D. One, two, three, four, one, two, rest, and then come back to beginning again. The same D. D, D sharp, D, C, two, D, C, two. One more time. E, one. One, two, three, four. The same place, right? And then rest. Same C, but change your fingering to finger number one. B, B sharp, the same place. C, finger with finger number four, and skip down to C. Step up, down, tight, and B, D, two, C, two, three, four. Four and up to here. So basically, the first phrase you repeat back again, second time. Exactly the same. So once you get the first phrase, which is one, two, one, one, two, three, four, rest. Tight. One, two, one, two, three, four, one, two. If you remember that one, you know, exactly the same thing comes on the next measure. And also the first beginning is the same too. One, two. One, two, three, four. This part is literally repeating three times. Only here is a little bit changing. But the next line is exactly the same as beginning. So practice up to here a couple of times and then edit the last part because the last part is closing part. Now let's move it on to the last part for the right hand. It starts with two count rest. One, two, and then start C. D, E, C, D, E, tied. C. to go on to the C, the next note is E bottom, so going like this. So if you see it, note is pretty easy. The confusing part is the rhythm. Basically, it goes so fast and it has upbeat, playing it. And then tied rhythm, which makes you really confusing. Have you ever heard ragtime music? America start developing new genre of the music like jazz, swing, and ragtime. All these different types of music was composed in America. 
So this one is figure of the ragtime music. Now let's see left hand chord how it goes. Beginning chromatic scale, so we know how it goes. So just leave it out and start from the chord part, which is the chord C is written. C chord, yes. And one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So it's pretty easy left hand, right? And then the next line is F chord, inversion. One, two, one, two, and you come back to C again. So step it down, two, one, two, one, two, three, four, Next one is G7. And then the next one is 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2. So basically, your left hand is pretty simple. Matching with your right hand is just confusing. So now let's see how it goes. Start with the left hand. 1, 2, 3, go. Just combination between the left hand and right hand, the rhythm and tight notes are making so confusing. So just practice first part, which go. Off to here. And when you can almost memorize this part, then moving on to the next one, then it will be easier. Otherwise, if you practice whole entire song from beginning to the end, it's going to take so long. So start breaking into the part and practice the song. In this lesson, basically we reviewed chromatic scales and sharps and flats, and also how to use fingerings on the song and the ragtime music. So for this week, practice previous chromatic scales technique and also practice the song. Start practice both hands together. If you practice right hand and left hand separate, it's not gonna be helpful that much because of the rhythm. So if you play it both hands together, it makes sense more. 
So practice both hands together from the beginning, but instead, just make it short. First phrase, couple of times, and when you can play it well, then move it into the next line. And I hope you enjoyed this music, and we'll see you next week. Bye.